Hi, welcome to this new basics video about the copy node. In my previous video I covered the shuffle copy node and the copy node is very similar but yet has a different concept to it. So you can call the copy node with the K on your keyboard and just like a merge you copy A over B so you bring elements to the A pipe. By default you can see here we have RGBA and RGBA so on the left that's your source that's what's coming down the A pipe and B is the output of the copy node. So what's going on here is that we're copying alpha to alpha. So the alpha of our CG render is now our alpha. So very simple. And what I want to just show now is that the concept of the copy node versus the shuffle copy. Shuffle copy brings on layers that contain a number of channels and the copy node only works through channels. So what I mean is that if you bring a shuffle copy node, just plug it here for now. If I click here, I can see diffuse, and then I can select diffuse R, G, and B, and that's it. And same thing, I say diffuse to diffuse, it's the end. On the copy node, on the other hand, I only see the channels. So if I want to copy the whole diffuse into the diffuse of my B pipe, I have to say diffuse red, diffuse green, diffuse blue, diffuse <laughs> red again. So you can see how it becomes very annoying or very fast and usually you'll click on the wrong one and on some CG renders you can have more than a hundred passes so it can be very annoying to use. So when you want to copy a whole pack of channels I would use the shuffle copy because it's a much easier way. But what I like about the copy is that for simple operation like copying just your alpha it's showing you in the node here hey I'm copying alpha into alpha so when you work on a comp for a long time or it's a big comp and there's parts you haven't seen or you haven't touched the comp for weeks and you have to come back to it or you know someone else is going to use your comp, it's pretty nice to actually have the copy node that shows you, hey, this is doing alpha and you don't have to go select the node and to see what it's doing. It's right there, you know, oh, it's copying the alpha, so I know where my alpha is coming from. The other nice thing is that you can actually copy channels from any channels to any channel. And what I mean is that First we copy the alpha, next we might copy the depth, which is quite a usual thing to do. So we want to copy our depth here. And maybe after this we need to copy, I don't know, just for example, it doesn't make much sense, the spec red. And the fourth one will be, why not, wall YZ blue and wall XYZ blue. Maybe it would be your ID passes or something like that. And you can copy four different channels from four different layers when while in the shuffle copy you can only copy from two different packs of layers it's not something you would use a lot honestly i don't know why i would copy four different channels from different layers like that but just nice to know you can do that but the main use again is just to copy simple things if i just need to copy the alpha i'll just get a copy it's right there on the keyboard and it's showing right there what it's doing and just to copy like an alpha or a def, it's definitely my node of choice over the shuffle copy, which doesn't show you what it's doing on the node graph. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of what the copy does and versus the shuffle copy. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be happy to help out. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.